In this video, we're overclocking the Ryzen 9 9900X all the way up to 5825 MHz using the Asus ROG X870 Hero motherboard and Enermax AIO cooling. I'll speedrun you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't just copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this Ryzen 9 9900X, have a look at the longer Scatterbanter video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, switch to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to Expo 1. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 8000 and associated memory timings. Expo 1 will load only the primary timings and have the motherboard tune the secondary timings. Switch to the advanced menu. Enter the AMD overclocking submenu. This will provide us with all the advanced AMD CPU overclocking tools. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 toolkit to increase the power, current, and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 boosting algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters, PPT, TDC, and EDC, according to the Motherboard order rules. Set Precision Boost Overdrive Scalar Control to Manual. That enables us to override the warranted silicon stress level or FIT, which is one of the precision boost limiters governing the maximum allowed operating voltage. Set precision boost overdrive scaler to 10x. This increases the FIT to 10 times the factory fuse value. Now the maximum voltage when all 12 cores are active is 1.365 volt, up 10 millivolt from the default limit of 1.355 volt. Set CPU boost clock override to enabled positive. That unlocks the ability to increase the CPU's programmed F max or maximum frequency up to 200 megahertz in steps of 25 megahertz. For dual CCD Ryzen 9000 CPUs, it's crucial to know that in addition to the CPU F max, each CCD has its own F max and the override applies to both CCDs independently. Set max CPU boost clock override to 200. That increases the CPU F max from 5650 MHz to 5850 MHz, the CCD 0 F max from 5625 MHz to 5825 MHz, and the CCD 1 F max from 5350 MHz to 5550 MHz. Enter the curve optimizer submenu. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to fine tune the VF curve for each core in a positive or negative direction. Set Curve Optimizer to per CCD. Set CCD0 and CCD1 Curve Optimizer sign to negative. This is the best approach for dual CCD Ryzen 9000 CPUs because each CCD has its own VFT curve and may have very different undervolting capabilities. We will set a negative curve optimizer for both CCDs. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Note that the curve optimizer settings are highly CPU specific, so you should find the best values for your CPU rather than copying mine. I always try in steps of 5 magnitude. Set CCD0 curve optimizer magnitude to 30. Set CCD1 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 10, then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun our benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. When running the OCCT CPU SSE stability test, the average CPU CCD0 effective clock is 5,376 MHz and CCD1 effective clock is 5,238 MHz with 1.188 volts. The average CPU temperature is 95 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 229.2 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching, the patrons and the YouTube members for the support, and see you next time.